Welcome everybody. Good morning everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Please share this at the end of the video or share it now with somebody that might need to hear it. I believe this is a, 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 a great word that's going into the new year. I believe this is going to bless you. I believe this is going to encourage you. And I, I believe that this is the word that you need right now going into the new year. But before we get into it, let us pray real quick. Dear God, we just want to thank you for everything that you're doing, Lord God. Thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord God. We know a lot of people didn't wake up this morning, Lord God. And, and I just want to give you praise, Lord God. I just want to thank you for that, Lord Jesus. Just, just thank you and, and open up our ears, our minds, our hearts, our bodies, our souls, Lord God, to receive your message this morning, Lord God, to receive your spirit and to receive your strength, Lord God. We thank you in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you. All right, today's message is called Be Strong and, Encour and, and Courageous. Be Strong and Courageous. Amen. And we're going to go to Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1, verse 5. All right, so if you want to follow me. Now, I know this, this whole year, year has, been, has been crazy, ha, has been just, just weird and, and just different. And um, so in a time where there's a lot of uncertainty in the world, we're about to go into a new year with a lot of uncertainty, uh, uh, a lot of things going on, and we do not know what to expect for the new year. I know a lot of people are scared, they're discouraged, they're disappointed. I know a lot of you have lost your jobs, your businesses, um, some loved ones, family members, and friends. So we've lost a lot this year, but I believe today's word is going to bless you. Now, I know that you feel like your whole world is, might be collapsing right now. Now, maybe that's you. Maybe you feel like you're just everything is so crazy and everything's about to crumble and I don't know how much more I can take, God. If that's you, this is a word for you. This is a word for you. See, we're going to go to the book of Joshua, chapter 1. And I want you to understand what is happening. I want you to understand what, what is going on right now because right now, in Joshua chapter 1, right before this, Moses has died. The children of Israel have been wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. And now their beloved leader has just died. And so all hope is lost for them. They are tired. They are weary. They are discouraged. They have been in this wilderness for 40 years. Mentally, physically, emotionally, they are drained. And now their great leader is dead. But God is raising another leader. God is raising some leaders right now. God is raising you up to be a leader now in the time that people needed the most. So right now, God is raising up Joshua to be the next leader, to take him into the promised land. And so, this is what Joshua, chapter 1, verse 5 says, no one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to the inherit, inherit the land I swore to the ancestors to give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful 
wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. See, God is talking to us right now. God has given us a promise. God has given us a command to be strong and courageous. See, the Israelites had lost all hope. They did not understand God's plan. They could not see God's plan. They could not see ahead. They knew what, what God had said to them, but at that moment in time, they were asking, why God, why? They were tired physically, emotionally. They were drained. But God spoke a word right to them. And I believe that this word is straight to you as well. I believe that God is saying, nothing can come against you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. I believe God is saying, nothing can harm you. When I stand with you, nothing can be against you. God is with you. That doesn't mean you're not going to come, you're not going to have trials and tribulations. That doesn't mean that you're not going to go through some things. That doesn't mean that you're not going to go through some failures in life. That doesn't mean that you're not going to have pain and hurt. But through all that God is saying, I am with you. Remember that. God is saying, I will never leave you nor forsake you. God is still by your side. Get out of your feeling. Get out of your emotions. Maybe you're saying, well, I don't feel God. I don't hear God. I don't see God. But it's not about your feelings. It is about what God says and what is true. God is not a man that he should lie. His word is truthful. His word is real. It's not about what we feel. It's about what we know. And we know that God is good. We know that God is great. We know that God is all powerful, all magnificent. We know that when God speaks, it is done. God spoke the word, the world into existence with his word, and it was done. He told, where the, he told the stars where to settle, and it was done. Anything God speaks, it is done. So God is telling us, God is telling you to be strong and courageous. Say, I am strong and courageous. And you might say, well, Pastor David, I don't, I don't feel very strong and courageous. Well, it's okay. Because it's not about how you feel. It's about what God says. And when he says it, it is done. So that means you are, all, you are already strong and courageous. That means you have strength within you. That means God is speaking it right now for you to be strong and courageous. And if he's saying it to you, that means you have it in you. We just need to bring it out of you. So you gotta tell yourself, if God told me to be strong and courageous, it's because he put strength and courageousness in you. Be strong and courageous. Begin to tell yourself, I am strong and courageous. This year coming up, I'm going to be strong and courageous. God is raising up some Joshua's to lead his people. Thank you, Jesus. Did you receive it right now? Did you accept it right now? What God is saying right now, I believe it's for you. And as it says this, so it says, be strong and courageous. 
In verse 8, it says, Keep this book and the law always on your lips. Meditate it on day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will prosper and successful. Amen? So he's saying, keep the Bible close to you. Keep reading the Word. Keep speaking the Word. Keep meditating on His Word. Keep, it says, in your lips, right? Keep speaking the Word. I know what the world is saying. We already know what the news is saying. We already know what everybody's saying. Right? But what is God saying? Get in your word every single day. Get in your word and stay true to your word, no matter how hard or, or, or the things come against you. Because this is what separates the real Christians from the wolves, the sheep from the wolves, the wolves in sheep's clothing. When times get tough, would you walk away and say, this doesn't work? Or will you say, thank you, God. I know that you are with me. I know that you are standing by me. I know that you have never left me nor forsaken me. Even when I don't feel you, even when I don't know what's happening, even when I don't understand your plan, I trust in you. And I believe next year you're going to see a lot of things that's going to separate the real church from the ones playing church. I believe you're going you're, you're gonna to see that. You're already seeing the beginning of it now. Be strong and courageous, God is saying. Stay true to God because he stays true to you. He showed it. He proved it on the cross. Jesus Christ will stay true to you all the way to the cross. No matter how hard he got, no matter how much they whooped him, no matter how much they persecuted him, no matter how much they beat him and mocked him, he stayed true to the cause. Stay true to God. Be strong and courageous. Watch this. And the last one. Have I not commanded you? So this is a commandment. Verse 9. Watch this. Wait, wait, wait. I want, I want to point this out. I want to point this out. Let's keep it in verse 8 real quick. I want to point, point this out. Okay? Because a lot of people are like, well, I, I, I don't feel it. When I pray, I don't feel it. When I worship, I don't feel it. When I praise, I don't feel it. But I already, I already told you, it's not about your feelings. It's not about your feelings. You need to get out of your feelings. Your feelings are deceitful. Okay? What is true? The word is true. God is true. Okay, but watch this. So we must stay persistent in our prayer, in our praise, and in our worship. No matter if we don't feel it, okay? Keep yourself in prayer and praise and worship until you start feeling something. I, think, I don't think you're getting it. I don't think you're getting it. See, if you go into praise and worship for like five minutes and you come out and you feel the same way, that means you haven't done it enough. You need to get back in it until you start feeling something. Okay? You need to get back into prayer until you start feeling. If you're just doing prayer for one minute, ten seconds, and you don't feel nothing, then you haven't done it long enough. You keep doing it day after day after day after day. Pray, praise, and worship. Doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter. A lot of people quit right away because it's like, oh, well, I don't feel God talking to me. I don't feel like, uh, I, I didn't feel anything. Well, that's kind of dumb. It's like saying you quit your gym after one day. You quit exercising after one day because you didn't see the results. You 
You got to keep on doing it. You want results, you got to keep on doing it. You got to keep on praying. You got to keep on praising. You got to keep on worshiping God until you start feeling and seeing the results in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. See, you got to keep speaking the word. You got to keep in your Bible every day. When you are discouraged, when you don't feel like it, keep in your word. Let God strengthen you. Let God give you peace. Whatever you're going through in your life right now, get in your word, get in prayer, get in praise, get in worship. Amen. That's a word for somebody right now going through a divorce or something right now. Thank you, Jesus. Draw closer to God. Let him strengthen you. Amen. And watch this. Verse 9, it says this. Have I not commanded? So he tells you all this. He starts with, be, be, you know, be strong and courageous. I will not forsake you. I will never leave you. And then at the end, he, he reassures you again. And he tells it to you again. Verse 9 says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Have I not commanded you? It's a commandment. Oh, but I don't feel like it. No, no, forget your feelings. God is giving you strength. Don't worry about the out. Get in your spirit. That's where your strength comes in. It's within. When God speaks it in you. In you. Hey, man, now it needs to come out. Do not be afraid. Don't be afraid of what the future holds. I know things are crazy and scary and all these things, but do not be afraid. Why? Because God is right by your side. Because God is a winner. And you are on the winning team. We have already won. We know the ending. God will rise again. God is alive and well. God is the winner of all. You're on the winning team. You're on the winning team. Do not be discouraged. For God is with you. Wherever you go. He's right by your side. He's right there. That's a promise from him to you. To me. He's right by our sides. Even if we don't feel him, he's right there. That doesn't mean you're not going to go through trials and tribulations. But he promises you that he's right there by your side. And if he's right there by your side, you win. Amen? You win. God, I believe, is depositing strength into your life today. If you are watching this, is not by coincidence. It was a divine appointment from God to speak into your heart, into your life, into your situation. God is giving you strength. God wants to raise some Joshua's next year. Not these pretending playing Christians, but actually strengthen Christians. Strong, courageous men and women of God. That will not be dismayed to the left nor to the right. But will keep their heads straight on God. Are you a praying man? Are you a praying woman? Pray. Praise God. Worship God. Now is the time and the hour to receive God's strength. God's salvation for your life. God's courage for you. God's peace. We do not understand all the plans of God. But we do know this. God is always good. He will always be good. He will always be your savior. Thank you, Jesus.
Listen, if you haven't received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, today is the day. Don't wait until another day. Today is the day for salvation. We do not know the time or the hour, the Bible says. So make that decision today. If that is you, I will pray with you. All you have to ask is God for forgiveness and accept them into your heart. Let him be Lord of your life. Will you do that today? Let us pray. Dear God, we just want to thank you, Lord God. We thank you for your mighty word, Lord God. We thank you that you are strengthening us to go into the next year, Lord God. We thank you that you are raising women and men, Lord God, of the army of God. We thank you that, that we are strengthened right now, that we are courageous right now, Lord God. We thank you that we, we receive it, Lord God. We receive your peace and understanding over our lives, Lord God. We do not know what you're doing, but we know that you are doing something, Lord God. We thank you for our marriages right now. Strengthen them, Lord God. Our families, the blood of Jesus upon them right now, Lord God. We rebuke any demonic spirits that try to form against our family and our children right now in the name of Jesus. We call back the children of God to him. Lord, and forgive us of our sins. Forgive us of our wrongs. Come into our hearts. Be Lord of our life. We thank you for, for saving us, for dying on the cross. That you are our Savior, Lord God. We thank you for taking our, 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 what was meant for us, Lord God. You took it on the cross. We thank you in your precious name. Amen. God bless you. Share the word. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Be strengthened. In the name of Jesus, God bless.